What is up everybody, Cameron here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Give me some feedback if you don't. If you do enjoy it, hey, check out my other videos. What I'm going to be talking about in this specific video, though, is the man of the day. I'm currently recording this Thursday the 28th at 5.35 Central Standard Time, I'm talking about the man himself, Guile. Now, Guile has been a solid character through out all of his Street Fighter, uh, <clears throat> wouldn't say a career, maybe his uh, lifetime, I guess, because all his life has been about the events coming into Street Fighter V. Now, I am going to be talking about Guile, but I'm also going to talk about the future DLC cast, speaking of the boxer, Shadowloo Man himself, Balrog, the ninja, Teen, Ibuki, and you know, Sin Operative, Jury, and also everybody's favorite banana hammock enthusiast, Yurian. Now, Yurian seems to be the last on the list, and going by the DLC schedule, um, every character a month except for June, or what's it, July? I don't remember, I will look that back up, but every character coming out soon um, this year, it seems to be following that release schedule from when they showed the DLC preview. It was uh, Alex first, then Guile, then Ibuki, Jury, and then Nurian last. But now, what I'm going to talk about is the fact of the DLC situation and mishaps that have been happening. Guile is coming out this evening, and with that, they've raised some questions. They handle it very well this time. Uh, they actually released a trailer at least a week and a half or so. I can't remember when, they, when the trailer came out. But they released a trailer. They showed what Guile could do um, within plenty of time. They didn't leave us wondering, well, when's it coming out? Well, they didn't say until a few days ago. Uh, beginning of the week, I believe. I'm not sure. But taking a look here, I mean, it's just... It, the whole DLC fiasco with Alex was just handled so incorrectly. And people were using their PC mods to make their own trailers, which I I absolutely loved one of them. It was amazing. They should have just gone with that one. Capcom should have just given him some kind of uh, reimbursement for creating that trailer. Because that was an amazing trailer, even for a fan-made one. But what's going on here with the Alex situation is that... Is all of the future DLC going to be rushed like this? The DLC situation that I'm I'm mostly concerned about is they've not really been clear on a lot of stuff. They've kind of just muddied the waters and said, "Well, we're ca we got a character coming out. You should just expect it." I don't agree with that. That's not a proper way to do business. Now, I understand that this game was rushed. There's a lot of stuff missing. Um, you know, no classic arcade mode. I'm not even sure if that was going to be a thing anyway. The story mode's lackluster. I understand that the cinematic story mode is... It's something that needs to have work on, but still. You could have at least waited until, you know, the summertime or, you know, June. I'm pretty sure if it was a finished product by the time that it was released, everybody would be okay with it. But it, regarding the Alex situation that happened in March, a lot of faith has been lost in Capcom. Now, I myself, I still love this game. It's fun. Um, I'm going to be playing Dial as soon as the servers are back up. I'm going to be putting in all kinds of work with him. But we just don't want the same thing happening with you know future DLC so just please no Capcom just just no please get your shit together that's all I'm gonna really say about the situation Guile coming out tonight you should be expecting some videos I know I haven't put out a lot of content but life comes first so if you did enjoy this video if you enjoyed my ramblings if you have any feedback please give it a like favorite subscribe any kind of feedback. Thank you for watching. Yeah, have a nice day.